When the judges were reviewing the nominees, we were clear that we wanted to see evidence that captains were engaging with their organisation and leading peers and managers to get involved. We were also looking for evidence that captains had achieved personal growth as a result of the corporate decathlon. Having been involved in numerous judging panels in the past, it was very clear to me that the corporate decathlon captains were passionate and committed individuals who wanted their teams to thrive and their organisations to succeed. I believe the Corporate Decathlon programme achieved exactly that. I think the enjoyment for me and what, what I've learned is when you turn up for an event, seeing people that are, aspire to do things or you know they maybe haven't tried before and when they achieve a personal goal, it's so satisfying. I got Rebecca nominated as Captain of the Year for this because uh, effectively for actually excellence that she's delivered the objectives that we set for participation. She's really passionate and enthusiastic about the decathlon. She's exceptional at getting people involved in the first place. She sort of stood up uh, at the beginning of the year and, and sort of raised the expectation that people would get involved and participate and uh, that was quite commendable, quite exciting. She's sort of the force that, that makes it happen here. She's the one that's driving people to participate and just to be engaged. For example, like the personal health challenge, some people couldn't run, you know, a hundred metres and by the matter of a few weeks they then could run 1k without stopping and to see the pride in someone's face when they do that, for me, it makes you all kind of warm inside. It's been both enjoyable and challenging. I have seen the team grow both in numbers and, um, and, and where people have come from. We've managed to get a lot of different people involved that haven't been involved in the past. Uh, fun really comes uh, strongly with Karen, enthusiasm, energy and, and, and trying to make the most of a team. And Karen is definitely a motivator. She's been absolutely amazing, she's very energetic. And really kind of working with individuals and making sure that everybody contributes to the overall success and, and really trying to get that more than the, the, some of the individuals, that for me is Karen. It's great to see the, um, the engagement and, and the enjoyment that they get from it. She does have a way of finding solutions to anything. She takes that extra mile to go and find extra people. Um, she has stepped in herself in some situations where there weren't other people to take that place. And it's just the sheer dedication and the fact that she's pulled everyone together. I, I think that is one thing that I've learned from Karen in that there's always a solution to anything that comes, that hits you. Being nominated for the Carpet Decathlon 2013 I feel it's just a pride achievement. Claire's an amazing person when it comes to it. You know, in the States we have these call them the cheerleaders and they go through the always positive, always you know, upbeat, always trying to get everybody involved. And that's kind of what she does with the corporate decathlon and with everyday work. But she has given so much of her time. She's dedicated every last ounce of what she could to this. Yeah, Claire's been a really good captain. She's been encouraging from the start and always wanting to get people involved, even if you haven't done certain events. The thing that sticks out the most is the whole Dance the World competition. And it was something that everyone was hesitant about, no one really wanted to do. And Claire comes around and she starts begging, can you please do this, can you please do this? Everybody doesn't want to do this. And so I, you know, luckily agreed. I said, okay, Claire, I'll, I'll do this for you and it was the most fun I've had in any of the competitions. So it's all been down to Claire and she's been absolutely fantastic.